Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? I'm back after a couple of weeks away. Let's see who we've got. Uh, Vicky, Amanda, Christine, Kirsty, Marilyn. Hi, everybody. Susan, June, Pat. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to be back. It's, I've had a lovely couple of weeks break with the family, but it has been really, really uh, great to get back into things as soon as. Um, you know, we landed, I did one day of washing and then straight back into work. Oh, my Dino's watching as well. Heather, Tina, Karen, hi, Liz. Oh, there's loads of you today. Oh, it's great to see you all back joining us. And so if you don't know who I am, if you're the first time you're watching me here, I'm Claire Manning from Thirsty Brush and I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you. Tony lets me get Crash Her Studio on a Thursday and I've just recorded a show for you for Sunday at one o'clock as well. Can you remind me guys, what, um, what were the ideas for the name of Sunday's show? I should have written them down when I was here last and we were talking about them because I still haven't properly named uh, Sunday shows. So Thursday's a Thirsty Thursday, obviously. We need a name for Sundays, don't we? And I remember some of you came up with the really good ones. So anyway, just before we start um, crafting, We've got Shimmer and Shine. Yes, Karen, I remember that one. There was a few really good ones. So just before we start crafting, I'm going to show you. Um, some of you might have noticed I put on Instagram and Facebook yesterday that I'm back on Create and Craft tomorrow with some back in stock stuff. So I just wanted to go through what, what's in the show for you. Um, as always, hang on if you're going to buy anything via Create and Craft for tomorrow uh, near the show for the correct pricing because I don't want you to get caught out of um, before the price drops to the, the correct one. So basically tomorrow's show is just things that have sold out through Create and Craft and you've been asking me for some more stock and they're sold out so quick. <laughs> I've had to try and get them back in as quickly as possible. So hi Enid. Yes, so you've got, you've got the embossing powders. So that is one thing the pack of nine again, do you remember these? If you hadn't got them, if you've got them, I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know what your favorite color is. Uh, so I'll go through the nine colors. So just for those of you either who either hasn't seen them or didn't manage to get them last time because they're sold out so quick. So we've got some new tones, they're glitter. So they're still luminosity embossing powders, which are super shiny, but then they've got really fine super sparkly glitter in them to match the colours that they are. So if I go through, you've got your blue tones. You've got a light one, which is sunny sky. I'll open some in a moment. Sea foam, which is your mid blue. And midnight, which is your kind of your dark navy blue. And let's see if we can get, see how sparkly they are. Look at that. So all of them have got that lovely colour in there. See if we can get some extra. There we go. So that's the light blue. Let me open each one so you can see. The mid blue, look at that. It's like a Colbert kind of blue, would you call it? Oh, hi Amanda, said you just made it. <laughs> Blue's always that your favourite, Liz. I'm a navy there. So that's your blue tones. And if you've used our other embossing powders, the smooth metallic ones, you'll know that they're uh, great quality. We've got the anti-static in there. These are your greens. So that's the mid green, which is courtyard green. A lovely thirsty brush. Mint green. All full of sparkle, these. And I've had so many messages saying, I already want the next set of colours that you're going to do. People have been asking for purples, oranges, all sorts. That one's forest green. And then you've got your pink tones. So the light one is powder puff. Sorry if you've seen these before, but I know lots of you either haven't or you were asking me when they're coming back in stock. Tutti Frutti, coral red. So we're gonna be using the midnight today. Hi Nola. Hi, anybody else that I've missed, Janet? There were only six on CNC's. That ear embossing powders, if there's only six showing today, 
then that's because the bundle of nine will get added ready for the show tomorrow. But I promise you they'll all be in the bundle. I think it's called All the Tones. And you'll have all nine together. So it might be that the other three were sold out individually, but there's a whole new set of stock going tomorrow. Uh, just before I go into the other stuff for what's on the show, Susan says, how did your daughter do it on her GCCs? She did amazing. Now, I know technically all of her year group, they didn't actually sit the exam, um, but they've obviously then had a combination of their mock grades, their teacher's assessment, and any other work that they did between their mocks and um, when they went into lockdown, basically, and they were working from home as well. So they did a full assessment of that, and she did absolutely fantastic, better than she thought and better than she even needed for a level. So we're all very happy and we celebrated that while I was on holiday as well. So Amanda says, waiting for the perfume bottle one to come back in stock. Oh, you had one that was damaged. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So they're going to replace for you. If you need any help with that, drop me a message, Amanda. But yes, so the bundle of the perfume bottles. So if you haven't seen these, I've only got two with me here, the circle one. Um, I must have left at home. So there's three perfume bottle sets. The bundle is called Fragrant Blooms and they sold out in the live show last time and loads of you missed out, so you've been asking for me again. So there is three A5 stamp sets with your coordinating dies. So they mix and match as well. So you've got a circle, a vase shape and a square shape. Perfume bottle, that you layer the this solid piece does your liquid in and we'll be using one of these in a little while and then you can mix and match the flowers that go on top or the lids and they work great with the shoes as well which I'm going to do in the demonstration today. So last bit of kind of show news and things that you were asking for is the stiletto shoe from the Step Out in Style and the wings. So many, so many messages. Um, about the wings and when were they coming back in stock and all that kind of stuff. So there's a brand new bundle being put together for you for the shoe and the wings together or if you've got one of them but you haven't got the other one, don't worry, you'll be able to get them individually as well. But so those are your stamps and your dies. So yeah, fun pack show. I'm gonna try and do some di different demonstrations for you on the show um, than I did before. So you, if you've already got them at home, still watch anyway. Um, because you can get some maybe some different ideas and it, it's just nice to have you watching even if you've already got this stuff. Let's have a quick check on the messages. It's the circle one you wanted Amanda so yeah it has been restocked so any problems let me know. Uh, da, da, da. Love my wings June says. Need those wings honestly you will not stop using them. Uh, I've got a fab demo lined up for the wings. Anyway Let's get on with some fun crafting. So today I'm going to use the, the shoe, the uh, Step Out In Style Stiletto shoe, along with the square perfume bottle, some of the embossing powders, a bit of mi mix of everything and one of the stencils. So there is some odd little bits. Remember we did this, the animal print stencils and there was a couple of other dyes and things like that on the show a couple of weeks ago. Those bits haven't been restocked, so whatever showing for those, it's like a handful of each one. Some of them maybe even just one or two. So some of them showed us out of stock during the show, but then if people didn't check out, you just get one or two, go back on the website. So I haven't got loads of stock of those. It's literally just what Great and Craft have got left. So if you missed out on stencils or anything, it's worth having a look tomorrow. And it'll be, anything that was left will be on there. So, just get my open ones. So like I say, I'm going to use the shoe. I'm going to use the dies off. If you need some ideas on this one, on my YouTube, Claire Manning Craft, there's loads of different demonstrations using the stamps, using the dies, using the both together. So I'm going to use just the die for the shoe, but I'm going to make it a textured shoe and I'm going to make it like a snake skin shoe. Hi Dorothy, lovely to see you. And then I'm going to layer up, I thought they won't go really nice, kind of on a, a girly card with the perfume bottles as well, so we'll add a bit of that in too. 
So let's make this background and then we can die cut the shoes out. So I'm using a piece of coloured card for a change. Don't use a huge amount of coloured cards. Get those bits out ready. And I just want to tape this in place. So I don't really want to dramatically change the colour or use, um, say, a glitter on that, through that stencil. I still want it to look this lovely lilac -y purple, so I'm going to use the clear embossing powder. And it's something that people say to me, I've got the clear, Ooh. I've got the white, I've got the black, I've got the clear, all the classic ones, what do we call it, the not so basic set. But it's a powder that a lot of you say to me, I don't really want to know what to do with the clear. So this is just one way. So I'm going to hold that in place. Get my luminosity ink pad. And I've got my clear powder and I need a piece of paper to catch our bits of powder in a moment. So some of you said, can you use a sponge pad, you know, like your little daubers with this? And yes, you can if there's certain little areas in a stencil that you want to do. Um, I just find it uses a bit more because a lot of it will just soak into your sponge and it stays so quite sticky. So do wash it after. When you're doing big areas like this and it's all even, you just want it to cover an entire area. I think it's much, much quicker just to do this. And if you've got the... Uh, embossing ink pad set with the refill you can always you know if you're using quite a lot doing this kind of technique you can just put an extra couple of drops on your pad and it will make it sticky again oh lots of messages I haven't got my glass on today so <laughs> some of these long messages <laughs> so I've just gone over a couple of times Nathan will tell me if there's anything important Right, you Nathan. <laughs> In fact, I did see a message for you there uh, earlier on, Nathan, where it said, uh, Christine, did you win, a, win something yesterday? Did you pick her out of a hat for something? Yeah? Oh, that's better. It's a little bit closer. I always forget my glasses. So there we go. So that's just the clear ink. And then I'm going to put the clear powder. <laughs> Oh, I've been saying hi to you now, Nathan, as well. <laughs> you work so hard behind the camera here. It's always the people in front of the camera that get the, get the acknowledgement, isn't it? So it definitely works hard. So I'm having to pour it on bit by bit because it's a large area. Pop it back in and then go to the next bit. But the ink's quite slow drying, so you've got plenty of time to do it. And this is going to give a really textured, shiny snake print to this bit of card. And then we can use that to make a textured shoe. I never, ever run out of ideas of things to do with this shoe. Um, I'm always amazed at what I see that you guys make as well, and all the different kind of colour combos and embellishments that you put on the shoe and all that kind of stuff. They all look fab. Hi, Michelle. I'm really sorry if I've missed anybody else as I'm looking between the screen and what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's my clear powder on. Just need to heat set that and it will go lovely and shiny and that purple will start to shine through again.
Wow, nearly a hundred of you watching. A lovely welcome back. So it shines back through the colour, it makes it look slightly darker but can you see that beautiful shine and you get like some texture on it as well. You could even go back through if you reposition your stencil and do it again if you want that texture even higher. Jeanette says that you're very tanned. I don't feel like I am. Tony's just asked me where my tan is. <laughs> Excuse me a second while I just have a sip of drink. So yes, Michelle, we're both on tomorrow, so I'm 12.45 and then Tony's on straight after me at 1.30. Um, the gas man's just been, that sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? <laughs> right then, so let's cut out some shoes. So I want a pair of shoes. Now this back piece I'm going to do out of another piece of card in a moment. But I want the main part of the shoe, so this piece, to be in this lovely snake print. So I'm going to do, cut it twice. Get rid of that out of the way. Bit of this low tap tape. Better do the housework early tomorrow. Yes, Pat. <laughs> Oh, hi Tracy, how are you? I know you've not been too well. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Jackie, you love using clear emboss powder. Yeah, I think it's one of those underrated products that you can use because, all right, it's not as appealing in a bottle as, you know, your beautiful colours and uh, your glitters and things like that, but it's so useful uh, and gives such a great effect on so many different things. It's a definite must-have, isn't it? So this is shoe number one. <laughs> I love how you all take care of each other and ask after each other as well. It's great. piece number one and I don't do enough purple so I do this for all the people that say to me do some more purple do lots of pinks and greens and metallics great for sentiments yes I'm going to use uh, the clear again on uh, on my sentiment I think on this card, unless I feel like changing my mind halfway through. Do you do that a lot? But we think a lot about stencils, don't we, for backgrounds, but it's really nice to use, you know, make your own card and use them for die cuts as well. So I'm not going to throw away even this waste here, because something else I can, even if it's a, a small bit, for a sentiment or something, I can use that. Just pop that out of the way. Okay, so we've got the two shoe tops. Now we need the base, and I'm going to mix it up with a bit of rose gold glitter. I thought that those tones went really nice, do you think? So th using this bit. This is what I love about this set, that you can use the dies on their own or with the stamps. You could stamp and colour your shoes if you haven't got lots of different types of card or anything like that. But you've got the pens to match the, the colour that you want your shoes. Just stamp them out and colour them in. It's nice to be able to have that flexibility, isn't it? 
clear embossing, embossing powder, good to use with black ink. Absolutely, Amanda. So, um, yeah, if you ever have problems with when you're colouring your blank ink, ink smudges, it might be that you're using the wrong type of ink, but you can also just put your clear embossing powder over. It will help. You won't smudge. It will help you keeping the lines because it's slightly raised. And it just gives like a really nice, it's an extra little step but it gives a really nice um, professional finish, I think, especially if you're selling your cards or something, or making a piece of wall art rather than just a card. So yeah, I really like those two colours together, the purple and the, and the rose gold. So this is our shoe, it's nearly done. <laughs> At least you'd fall over if you tried to walk in them. Yeah, same. I, can't, I don't do heels anymore. I'd rather make them like this and put them on a card than struggle walking around in them. <laughs> so, yeah, Amanda's saying you had trouble using black embossing powder. Yeah, some people prefer to use the ink and then put the black powder on, uh, the clear powder on instead just depends what uh, what you prefer the look of I suppose doesn't it so shall we just glue these on oh, I think there's a bit too much glue there but you can never have too much when you're gluing on to glitter I don't think just hold that in place for a second Sit down shoes for the shop, yes. Nola comes into my shop and I'm always in flats. <laughs> I, can't wear, I can't wear heels all day like that. So what have you guys been up to anyway the last couple of weeks? I really felt like I was out of it. The um, hotel we were staying in had the most god-awful Wi-Fi and I was going to use my mobile network, my 4G, but then we realised it was about, well, the price was just extortionate. It was something like £5 a meg for your data, so it would have ended up ridiculous amounts for us all to use our phones, so I had like a, it felt like a digital detox. So I'm just holding those in. Janet ruined her toes for nails in 60 years. <laughs> This little corner needs sticking down a bit more. See, crafty shoes, you can make whatever you want though, can't you? Doesn't matter the height or the colours. You don't have to think about what outfit to wear with them. Right then, so that's our shoes done and ready. So the next bit, I want to have a perfume bottle as well to go on my card. So I'm going to use this one and just got a small piece of card to stamp onto. And I'm going to use the Midnight. So that was that lovely navy kind of blue of the glitter. And the squarish one. So back to the luminosity pad and I need my, where's my antistatic bag gone? Hiding somewhere. No, lost it. Oh no, I've got it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh God, you're talking about Bridget Jones pants now. <laughs> I look away for a minute and what do you all start talking about? <laughs> So going in a second time with the ink pad just to double check because I can never see it properly on white card whether I've got it right. I'll keep that out because I'm going to use the that piece to show you how to do the perfume inside in a moment. Navy blue. So I saw you all talking about the weather right at the start before we went live. Is it dull and grey everywhere else as well? I've been in Birmingham and here in Wakefield. Let's heat set that navy blue one, the midnight. Not nice here in Southampton. Oh. Sunny and Wakefield, ain't it? It wasn't when I got here this morning. Has the sun come out since I've been inside? I was chucking it down when I got here. Okay, so let's put in the perfume itself using this solid piece. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. I don't know whether any of you that got these have been experimenting yet. So on the Crate and Craft show when we launched them, I embossed this piece first in some of the glitter um, and then stamped over in black ink and used a stays on ink to make sure um, the ink went over where I'd embossed because we've embossed first this time I can just add that piece over the top and then it's up to you really what you want to use you could use an alcohol marker on that you could use a water-based pen you could use watercolor paint you could use a, a pen and then spritz it if it was water-based I'm going to use a bit of water paint here I think Add a bit of water. Um, and because that's navy blue, I'm going to use, and we've used a bit of purple, haven't we, in, in the shoes. So I'm going to make like a bluey purple to kind of tie it together. But I don't want much. I'm going to paint it straight on the, the stamp. A bit more purpley, maybe. See how that comes out. We can always add a bit more if it's not bright enough. Yeah, let's add a tiny bit more. So you could spritz a bit more. I quite like that kind of mottledy effect. But if you don't want that, if you want it to look more pure watercolour. Just add it on if you need an extra bit of water. That'll help it squidge out even more for you. So layer it up as much as you like. You get a bit of kitchen roll. I feel like I've got a little bit too much water just on that tiny bit there. So we're not to worry, you can always soak it up. So then that looks like we've got some lovely purpley liquid watercolour in there and then while I'm here I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue to just the glass part of the bottle and get rid of this bit now 
You see where the shading is, where there's extra, where I hand drew the bottles. Just add an extra bit of blue in those areas. Bit of extra water on my brush. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. Just going to give a little bit of dimension. Let's block that off a little bit. Great thing about watercolour is if like that bit looked a bit too dark to me. So if you just blot it off, a bit of kitchen roll or whatever you've got lying around. Lovely clean palette, Claire. <laughs> yes, Tina, this one stays here. Um, so I only use it when I'm doing uh, the studios here. So you want to see the state of the ones I've got at home. They're in much more of a mess than these. So that's just giving an extra little bit of dimension. Just keep going until you're happy with it. So we need to die cut that out now so we can layer it on our card with the shoes. I'm just going to dry it off a little bit. So many different sets I'm using here on this card. <laughs> but it's nice to be able to mix and match them, isn't it? So this is the outline for the perfume bottle. But you do get, see these extra ones, if you haven't seen these before. So these are kind of like labels. So your sentiments can fit in there. You've got your outline for your flowers. This is really good as well for, I think Kerry made a shaker card using this perfume bottle where she used one of these to cut out the middle part and then lay behind some sequins uh, so it makes a really cool shaker card just run that through the machine so hopefully that purple in the middle will tie in nicely with the shoes I should have tested my colours really with that one first but oh gosh that's going to, that's slipped. Let's see if I can wiggle it out. There we go. See how that's slipped then as I run it through. Saved by the bell. I think it's because the paper was still a little bit wet. Let's try again. Those plates ended up going through them with nothing in them. That's okay, we managed to save it. Bye Nola, see you soon. So there's our perfume bottle. So we've got shoes, we've got perfume, let's sort out a sentiment and then we can start putting everything together. I like, I know everybody works in a different way. I like to do all my elements for a card first, have them all to hand, 
and then decide my layout as I go then as I'm gluing it all down. But there's no right or wrong, is there? So that's the shoes and the perfume, they go nice. Then I've got, if you got hold of the um, Enjoy Yourself Sentiments, my favourite one that I can't stop using at the moment is this Fearless one. So I've cut it out twice in black already. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to make it like stick them together like an embellishment like I do a lot. So I need a little bit of extra black. So it's a really nice modern font. Still a good size, but it's not going to um, it's not going to completely distract or detract. Sorry, my bits. So to stick these together, I'm just going to put. You've seen me do this before, probably, unless um, you're new to us. So some people do it on the back of their hand like this. How is that dried up again? Honestly, I put a, um, what's it called, a pokey tool through the, through the top of that earlier. Must be these lights. Some people do it on the back of their hand like that. Some people put the fine nozzle glue straight on the piece. As long as you're using one that's clear, and you have a bit of wiggle room, so you can line it up, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to make it shiny with the clear embossing powder anyway. So there should be one more. Hi Kerry. Oh, still stuck on me. <laughs> I was looking for it up to there. <laughs> See, I'm doing it on the back of the hand today. I don't know, I'll change it. I change it up whatever I feel like on the day. This one is quite fine though. And just doing this makes just that little bit more sturdy. So a bit more like an embellishment. I can always use the nozzle, any bits that haven't quite stuck. I think that's not too bad. But I want to make that shiny now, so it's a bit thicker than it normally is. So now if I get my embossing powder back. And the clear. And I'm just going to turn it upside down and press it in. So you can do this with any die cut, not just your sentiments. You want to make your die cut shiny. And again, it makes it that little bit stiffer, so it's easy to handle. You could use tweezers if you want to hold that. got my tweezers with me so I'm just going to hold it in place with the end of my scissors just so it doesn't blow away while I'm heat setting. You see how that changes now, it's going to make it super super shiny and thick. Right, 
then, so we've got sentiment, we've got shoes. We need to put it all on a card. And I might add a little bit of ink in the back of my card. So I'm really trying to use different card sizes as well. So I very often do five by sevens. I've just recorded one with a six by six for you. And this is a seven by 10 card because when you have two shoes together, they're quite big. You can still get them on a six by six, but by adding all these extra bits as well, I didn't want the whole card to be full. I still like some white space. So I've got a seven by 10 card. Just gonna add some black card on for some a matte and layer. Go. And then this card, I don't know whether it looks white or grey on the camera, it is slightly kind of soft grey and it's got a little bit of texture. So what I want to be able to do is add my shoes and my perfume bottles and do whatever design I want. But I want almost like a little bit of colour coming from the back. So before I stick that onto the card blank, I've got a Distress Oxide. So I have got some other purples with me. Let's try this milled lavender one first, see if it's enough. If it's not, I've always got a darker one as well. So just a little, should have got my uh, Tony's brushes. Oh, I have got one. Let's try. I don't think that's going to be quite enough for you to see on camera. So let's try got this one. This might be too bright. Maybe. Or we've got... That one's wilted violet. And then we've got this one. This might be too pink. Yeah, I think wilted violet. Let's try that. And we can always blend out with that lighter. Yeah, let's try that one. So it just needs to be like a bit of a halo of colour, really, that comes behind the shoe. It just kind of grinds everything a little bit so it doesn't look like it's floating too much. Yeah, I like that. It's a bit of a milled lavender on top. brings out the texture of the card stock quite nicely as well. And let's pop everything together. I made a right mess here today and using bits of this and bits of that, but it's quite fun to just experiment and use loads of different sets, and mix and match, isn't it? So I've pre-cut my grey piece, so it matte and layers with that black border already. So that should just fit straight on top of there. And then it's just about deciding. So I think I want the perfume maybe like that, creeping behind, a little bit more over. The perfume down first. I 
I've seen this used with some people put some nice bows as well. And then of course you could have the flowers from the perfume set, but a, a bow looks really nice on that. Oh, thank you, Rhea. It's a bit different for me, but, uh, but uh, I'm liking experimenting with different things. Yeah, should we have that fearless right across like that? I can't stop using this sentiment. <laughs> Needs an extra bit behind there. And there we go. So yeah, if you've got bows, if you've got gems, sequins, anything else that you want to embellish even a little bit more, but you can see between the glitter and then that clear embossing powder. Um, in real life, there's a lot of, lot of texture on that card then. So it does take a little while to do, but it, it really comes together, I think, and a big, big card for me. <laughs> the background colour makes it stand out. It does, Karen, doesn't it, just that extra little bit, it might just look as if they're floating otherwise. So I hope you enjoyed that. So do pop on tomorrow, even if you got hold of all your goodies before, your embossing powders or your perfumes, or you've already got the shoes, say, I think they were early, early in the year, was it April, something like that? Um, so do pop on anyway and watch, so 12.45, and check out the demos, and we'll be having a bit of fun anyway. I think I'm with Dave tomorrow. Um, but I'm not sure because the schedule said it was Dawn Willer doing the show and obviously <laughs> it's me, uh, so we'll see. But uh, if you did miss out on anything as well from the other week, uh, do be quick and get, because I don't know how much it's going to last, but there's a few things that are just down to penny numbers. But the ones that we've restocked fully for you are the perfumes, the shoes, the wings and all the embossing powders. So it still should be uh, a really good fun watch and I hope everybody has a lovely afternoon and I will see you tomorrow. Take care guys.